this is July the 20th, 2024, and I hope everybody's having a wonderful weekend so far. It is about 6.30, maybe a little bit later than that, and uh, we are just getting home. We've been out running around today, like I was saying in yesterday's video. My kids go back to school on Monday, and uh, we just wanted to take them out for one last little hoorah for the summer before they start back school on Monday. They're not happy about it, by any means. Uh, <laughs> My kids are pretty depressed. They're going back to school, and I get it. They have a pretty short summer, <clears throat> but um, they do have a two-week fall break and then a two-week Christmas and a two-week spring break as well. So they'll make up for it throughout the year, but they just don't have that long summer. So like I said, we just wanted to take them out and do some stuff with them today, and uh, it's kind of late. Um, but uh, I figured I'd go ahead and at least get a video up today. And uh, what I wanted to talk about today is something that I was thinking about um, on our way home this afternoon. And um, what I was thinking about is uh, something I've talked about on here uh, plenty of times before. Uh, but I just thought, you know, why not talk about this again today? And what, what I want to talk about today is staying busy. And, uh, you know, just finding something to occupy our time, our mind, and, uh, you know, just take our mind off of the, off the stuff that we think about, like our cravings, our anxiety. Uh, just the negative thoughts because <clears throat> if you're anything like me my mind is always racing always working uh, my mind just doesn't stop and if I sit idle and I'm not doing much my mind will start drifting off into places that it just doesn't need to go and I found that uh, throughout my sobriety because um, there's been p different different stages of my sobriety uh there was you know a stage in the beginning where i got up and started really doing a whole bunch of stuff right after i got sick the first time i was really staying busy and that helped me out so much i owned my own business i went right back to work and just poured myself into my work and uh it really helped me to stay sober uh i think one of the biggest things that it did is it just kept my mind off of thinking about the cravings and it kept me occupied um, I think if you if you did like I did, you drank a lot because you're bored. Um, I, I think I, a lot of my drinking, part of it was that I was trying to occupy my time. And alcohol was what I did to occupy my time. And after, and I've been talking about this here recently, but after I removed alcohol, uh, I was kind of lost. I didn't know what to do at that point. Um, you know, everything I did in my life, had alcohol involved in it and after I stopped drinking uh, I was afraid to do those certain things because I didn't want to get triggered um, so I kind of you know didn't have a whole lot to do um, other than my job so that's what I kind of poured myself into but then after that I got sick again and I was stuck laying around in the bed for months and during that period of time I was really sick so I really wasn't thinking about alcohol like that um, I did have some days where I did have cravings, even though I was really sick, but I was stuck in the bed, and I just didn't have uh, a whole lot that I could do other than really just watch TV and read books and stuff like that, and, uh, you know, look on the internet and stuff like that, but uh, once I started being able to get back up again and moving around and started really pushing myself to get up and do things again, uh, you know, I started doing little steps. And then it got to the point where uh, I started going back outside again. I've talked about this, but I used to take one of those little picker-up tools. And uh, I'd walk around with a five-gallon bucket and one of those little tools, and I'd pick up pine cones and sticks. It, I just wanted to get outside. And I knew good and well that those pine cones and those sticks were going to fall back again. They were going to be on the ground again the next day. But it just gave me something to do for one, to get outside and to get into the sun. I really wanted to be outside, breathing the fresh air, getting sun, vitamin D, and uh, just being outside just makes you feel better, or at least it does for me. And getting out and just doing that every day. I just went outside and picked up pine cones every day, and I, it, it was kind of like working backwards doing it, but it gave me the opportunity to get outside. I didn't have to go anywhere far. I was in my yard. And I was out doing something. And I found that I put in a pair of uh, earbuds. I turned on an audible book or a podcast or something. 
And when I started doing it, it, it was like everything just kind of disappeared for a little bit. And I didn't have to think about my worries and my problems and the fact that I was ill and all that kind of stuff. My mind kind of drifted off into whatever the story was I was listening to or the podcast that I was listening to. And as I was picking up the pine cones and the sticks, just everything just started kind of to disappear. And I didn't think about much at that. You know, I was thinking about the book I was listening to or the podcast and thinking my thoughts about what I thought about they were talking about or whatever it may be. And it, it just helped me get my mind off of all the negative stuff. And that's what I want to talk about today is finding something to do to occupy your time and, uh, you know, working in some kind of exercise into your life. Um, I understand if you're at home, you're really ill right now and you can't get up. I get it. Uh, I, I was very ill at one point, too. Um, I had to walk around with a walker every single day wherever I went. Uh, I remember when I first uh, got out of the hospital the second time. Just going to the doctor's office and how hard that was, how scared I was just to walk from our car into the doctor's office because I was afraid I was going to fall down. Um, I was that ill, and uh, I get it if you can't if you can't get up and do much right now. But as time comes on and you start to get maybe a little bit better, you on the days that you feel halfway decent enough, you know, try to get up and just do a little bit, a little walk around. Just walk around your house maybe. Um, go sit on your front porch, whatever it may be. Just try to get up and just do little teeny things. And as you work it in, uh, you know, every day, do a little teeny tiny bit more. Um, there was a time I did not think I would ever be able to get back up out of the bed again. And I just started pushing myself. And as the time went on, I gradually was able to do a little bit more and more every single day. But for the people that are out there that aren't ill right now, and you've just quit drinking or using whatever substance or or gambling or whatever it may be find something to do to occupy your time the saying idle hands are the devil's playground they say that for a reason uh you know if you're just sitting around all day long you're not doing anything you're just kind of browsing netflix or whatever your mind can start drifting off into places that it just doesn't need to go to um you know so find something uh, that you know, and if you've got something already that you do, that's awesome. Um, and and you know, this might not work for everybody, but I think for the majority of people, it will. Uh, you have to find something to occupy your time, uh, whether that be a hobby, uh, maybe uh, doing some kind of uh, community service. Um, you know, maybe going out and helping. Uh, you know, feed homeless people, or helping a local church, or helping a local school, or whatever that is, doing some kind of charity work. Um, that can be great, because helping other people uh, can really make you feel good um, about yourself, and you know that you're doing something positive for other people. I've found that uh, the most satisfying thing that I've ever done in my life is not doing things for myself, but doing things for others and uh, you know just being kind to people um, just going out and helping other people and not asking for anything out of it uh, has been one of the most satisfying things I've ever done in my entire life and that's I'm not telling you that you need to do that I just I'm just saying it's it, like seriously one of the most satisfying things I've ever done and after listening to so many uh, people that are much smarter than me much more achieved than I am. Uh, so many people have said that, that I've, you know, listened to podcasts or whatever, people saying that, you know, helping other people has been the most satisfying thing they've ever done. Um, but that's not what I'm here to talk about today. Uh, what I'm talking about today is just finding something to, to do to stay busy. Um, I've talked about this. I paint. Um, I've got a bunch of things that I like to do. I really like uh, plants. Um, I'm always playing around with plants, always. Uh, I just gave a friend of mine a cactus uh, that I cut off a bunch of lobes off of my cactus plant. So I have a bunch of prickly pear cactus that I grow out here on my property. And uh, at the beginning of the summer, I cut a bunch of the lobes of the prickly pears off, got them in a bunch of pots. I started off about 30 of them and got them all rooted. And um, I'm about to start planting the, even more of those around my property. 
But it's just something I really enjoy doing. I really like plants. Uh, I will go places looking just for plants. I will go to parks with the intention of mine of going out to that park to take cuttings of plants that I can find, exotic plants. I will cut off a little branch or a stick or whatever or a flower, whatever it may be, a leaf. I'll bring it back home and I will propagate it. And then I will put it in a pot, let it go a little bit longer, and then I'll plant it on my property. I have so many different plants out here. That's just something I really enjoy to do. I like to cook. Uh, another thing that I do to occupy my time. Um, there's lots of things that I like to do. I like to read. Um, I like to look at, uh, I like to do research on this topic. I watch videos about this topic, audio books about this topic, podcasts about this topic. My point is, is that I try to keep myself as occupied as I can. Um, doing this uh, YouTube channel uh, really fills up a lot of my time. Um, I just like to stay busy now. Because I know that if I, if I start uh, leaning back, um, not doing as much, <clears throat> my mind will start to drift off and start thinking about, well, I'm bored right now. Sure, it'd be nice if I had a nice little buzz and uh, maybe a couple beers. You know, that would be pretty cool to do today. You know, those kinds of thoughts start crossing my mind. Or I'll start thinking about, man, it sure would be nice to go out onto the river and get in a kayak today. It'd be even nicer if I could go get in a kayak with a 12-pack of cold beer. And those kinds of thoughts start going into my head. But if I stay really busy, um, I don't really... My mind doesn't really wander off like that. And one of the best things about staying busy like that, finding a hobby that you really enjoy and occupying your time, not only are you filling your time, but you're doing something productive as well. And, you, you know, you might be creating something or helping someone or uh, cleaning something up. You know, you might enjoy cleaning your house. And by getting up and filling that time in, you're actually being very productive. You're cleaning your house up. Some people really enjoy cleaning. Um, I'm not one of those people, uh, but there are people that like to clean. And, uh, you know, not only are you cleaning something and getting something done, but you're occupying your time. And one of the best parts about uh, getting up and moving around is uh, expelling that energy. And the feeling of calm that you get after that, especially if you go for a really nice walk, uh, I can't do a whole lot physically. I just can't. Um, if I could lift weights and stuff like that, I would. I just can't. But like lifting weights, I used to lift weights back in the day. And after I would lift weights, that feeling that you get from those natural endorphins, uh, just that that like that kind of high, you just feel good and you feel relaxed. There's an overall feeling of just calm that you get. Uh, and when you you know you go out, you do a bunch of stuff, you know you, t you go to the park with your kids, spend the day out there, wear yourself out really good. Man, it's such a good feeling when you get back home. You know, make yourself something good to eat, maybe a nice hot cup of tea. You're nice and wore out, and you're kind of tired, and you just feel just overall just at peace, and it just feels good. So if you have just recently quit drinking, and you're looking for a way to try to keep those withdrawals at bay, find something that you really enjoy to do. And I know it's not the easiest thing to do, because you're, you know, especially in the beginning, because you're pacing back and forth. It, it, this is what I, I would pace. I mean, it, <clears throat> you would see tracks in the carpet from where I was pacing. I would, you know, just walk back and forth around the living room, around the couch, around the couch. And there would be actual, like, pathways in the carpet from my walking around. Because I would just keep pacing. And <clears throat> that pacing and the, the constant thinking about... Uh, man, it sure would be nice if I could have a drink. What time is it? How much more time do I have till the day's over? If you find something that you can occupy your time with that you really enjoy to do, uh, the time just flies by. And before you know it, the day's over. You have your dinner, take a nice hot shower, get in your bed, maybe a hot cup of chamomile tea or something like that, and before you know it, you're asleep. And then you wake up tomorrow morning and you made it through a whole nother day. 
And just that feel of, feeling of accomplishment as you lay in your bed, it's the end of the day. You guys know exactly what I'm talking about. You know, you're starting to feel tired and you made it through another whole day being sober. Because some days, you guys know what I'm talking about, some days are so much easier than others. Some days it's a cakewalk and you're like, wow, I can't believe I made it through it. I didn't even really even think about alcohol day. And some days are those bad days. And it's just a struggle just to get through the day. And all you can think about is, if I could just have a drink, it would make all my problems go away today. Those days come too. Maybe not for you, but they happen to me. And I have good days. I have bad days. And on any of those days, especially the bad days, if I stay busy all day long and just try to keep my mind off of it, and I'm doing something that I enjoy, and I'm expelling some energy... I'm getting some exercise, you know, I'm working my mind, I'm learning something, and maybe I'm doing something with my hands, maybe I'm painting a painting or something. I've got something right in front of me that I can see that I produce, whether it be just cutting my grass or, uh, you know, if I cut my grass that day, well, I get to see the end result. My grass is cut, but I get to see my end product. I feel more relaxed at the end of it. The day goes by a little bit quicker. And then at the end of the day, I get to look at myself and say, I made it another 24 hours. I can go to bed, and then all I have to worry about is tomorrow now. And it just makes everything so much easier. Um, so, you know, finding a hobby, something to occupy your time, um, I think is one of the best things that we can do to combat those, with those, uh, those cravings. Um, it, it just helps so much just to keep our mind busy. And uh, there are just so many other positive benefits that come along with it. Uh, you know, whatever it may be. Um, you know, everybody's got that one thing they've been thinking about, they've been wanting to do for years, and they just never have the time. Or they, you know, they just, whatever the excuse may be. Let's say it's throwing pots, you know, doing clay. It's something you've always thought about. It's something I've always wanted to do, and I have yet to do it. But... Uh, it's something I've been talking about doing for years. You know, just go for it. Just, just go for it. And I know that some things cost money. You can find lots of things to do that don't, you know. Go, grab a knife and a stick and start learning how to whittle wood. I mean, when I was in Boy Scouts, we used to make all kinds of stuff. You know, we would carve uh, neckerchief things out of wood we would make all kinds of little gadgets and gizmos out of wood get a stick and a knife and carve something I don't know but there are so many things you could do have you been thinking about making jewelry and uh, maybe maybe you, you've had this idea about starting an online jewelry business for years <clears throat> and it's something that you know that you're good at you've made some stuff in the past and you know that you're passionate about it and you really enjoy it and you like to wear it and you've always wanted to venture off and see if you could do it, try starting a business, a side hustle. Not only are you occupying your time, you're being productive, you're going to feel good about yourself, but you find it makes some extra money in, in the meantime as well. Having a hobby, just finding something for your time, even if it's just reading books, you're exercising your brain. Uh, reading a book is so enjoyable. If you haven't read a book in a while, go get one. Grab a book sit down and read it. I'm telling you, it's, it's, it's awesome. Because not only are you you're, you're getting a great story, whatever it may be, but you're working your brain. You're imagining what that character looks like. You're imagining as you're, you know, you're flipping the pages, the storyline, and you're imagining in your head the, the situation that they're in, and the place that they are, and what this person looks like, and what the dog in the story looks like, or what the boat in the story looks like. It's just... It's such a great exercise for our brains. I love to read. And it doesn't necessarily have to be any fiction. It could be nonfiction, And you could be learning something as you go. But the point of today's video is finding something to occupy your time. Whether it be a great hobby, exercising, whatever it is. Cooking food, uh, going to a park, whatever it is. But try to find something to occupy your time. And it doesn't have to be the same thing every single day. Just try to find something to do to fill those gaps. Because I promise you that it will definitely help take your mind off the alcohol, whatever substance it is that you're trying to break free from right now. So, <clears throat> with that said, guys, I'm going to go ahead and hop off of here for today. 
Thank you so much for watching today's video. Don't forget that there will be the live video tomorrow at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. I understand it's early on a Sunday morning. Um, I know not everybody's going to be able to make it, but for those of you that can, I'd love to see you there. We always have an awesome time, and uh, it's an open conversation. You guys are willing to ask, you know, uh, you can ask me whatever you'd like. Um, everything's fair game, and uh, it, we always end up having a conversation. Others are on there talking. It, it's just a great time, and I'd love to see you there if you can make it. Um, but if not, uh, there be a, you can go back and watch it later on because it will be recorded. So, With that said, guys, thank you so much for watching today, and I will see you tomorrow in the live. You guys have a great day. Love y'all so much. Bye-bye.